guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a get ready with me video slash Q&A. So I am here with Ava because she is not napping and I need to film this video. So I am going to basically be answering your guys' questions that um, you guys left on my post on Instagram and then I think I got a couple on my last YouTube video. So I'm going to answer those questions and just kind of do my makeup and get ready. And this is a disclaimer that I'm not a makeup guru or anything or makeup artist. Uh, and I want to say another thing too is I'm actually going to be using this, ooh, this mirror right here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is a vanity mirror from Hand Swan. This little company online that actually sent me this little vanity mirror to show you guys. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just use this to do my makeup, which is super perfect because I have the camera here, the camera goes over this because this is smaller, and then I just have this sitting on Ava's big box of pull-ups. You can see two times the magnifying, three times the magnifying, and then this is just regular, and this is so cute. I don't even know if you can see it. I'm gonna have to take some shots for you, but it's just so pretty. It's also like a little uh, touch, like you barely tap it right here. So anyway, I'll have the information to this company down in the description box if you guys wanna check out their products and this mirror, really just this mirror, super cute. This is the primer I'm using. It's the Pore Professional Matte Rescue. I've had this forever, I should probably stop using it because it's probably close to the expir expiration date. So anyway, I'm gonna put this on real quick and then we're gonna grab the phone and answer some questions. The first question is Bubblegum2003. She asked me, what's your worst fear? And my worst fear is creepy crawling bugs, spiders. Carmen Golding asked, what is your nationality and have you ever had any negative comments about you on YouTube? Oh, so my nationality is African American and white. My mom is Irish but I just say white, so I, should, I guess I should say Irish, and um, she's actually kind of a mutt. She has some other things too, like Dutch and things like that. So um, kind of a mutt from my mom's side, <laughs> and then uh, my dad's African American. Have you ever had any negative comments about you on YouTube? Yes, I have struggled a lot in my videos, and I know you guys probably noticed, with the lighting and color correction. Sometimes back in the day, I used to really play around with the color correction to either make my video pop or to just try and fix it if I didn't have like proper ISO on. So a lot of times I've been told that I look really orange in my videos. It's really only been a couple of gamer guys that have said it to me, no women or anything like that. So I have like really awesome subscribers and basically it was just been guys that say rude things to me. So, and they're always like a gaming channel. I'm like, dude, what? <laughs> and then obviously, you know, I have like several people who want to correct me like in my cleaning videos and stuff like that. And I mean, those aren't like super negative to me, but they're trying to correct me. But at the same time, I'm not trying to be an expert with anything. I'm not trying to say I'm the cleaning guru. I'm not trying to say I'm the housewife guru. I am none of those things. I am just me. And I just share with you guys the things that I do, I like, what I've learned from my own family. I'm gonna take my Tarte and Amazon Clay full coverage. Did I mention that the last question was from Carmen Golding? I wanna make sure I'm mentioning everybody. And then Karen Ireland from Our Out of Shamley says, what was the best gift you've received at Christmas? And the best gift I received is is my G7, Canon G7X camera that my husband got me last Christmas to um, like vlog with on the go. And then modern day housewife, she asked me beauty or style, What? so beauty slash makeup or style slash clothes, what do you like buying more of? Um, definitely clothes. Uh, Vanessa Elizabeth 84, what do you do when you have a free night without kids, dinner and a movie or relax, question mark. Um, we don't have a free night without kids at this time. And so we don't get a free time, but when we used to have free times, we would just relax at home, to be honest with you. Just being alone at the house without having the kids there was really nice. Contour palette that I've had for years. I'm sure you guys seen it before if you've been following me for a long time. And um, I'm gonna use that to contour. <laughs> contour. So Jen Amber Beauty, she said, what do you do and how do you solve the problem when you argue or fight with your husband? I would say like, we give ourselves a break so we can kind of like process everything and if one of us uh, is upset about something, it helps us like calm us down and then think about it from like a different perspective and stuff like that. Um, and then all the time when we kind of link back up together, then we're just easier to talk to each other and talk it out and stuff like that. So I always, for us, what works personally is space, a little short space and then 
discussing it, obviously. And um, I'm gonna use this Too Faced palette. You guys, I need to invest in another palette. I've had this palette forever too. See, I don't really buy too much makeup. I just buy my staples. I need more mascara, I buy mascara. I need more eyeliner, like those are my staples, is mascara, eyeliner, stuff for my lips. BBY Butterfly 74, so Baby Butterfly 74. How did you and your husband meet? And we met from the gym that I was the manager of. He started coming into the gym and working out and I managed that gym and that's how kind of we connected. And the next question is from Diane, home and family. Why did you start doing YouTube? So I started doing YouTube when I was in postpartum depression and I started it because I was very lonely. Um, like you guys know before, like I said before, I was working, I was a really social person if you didn't know, but I'm, I was a manager of a fitness club, I worked my way up, I talked to people, hundreds of people a day, um, that's how I've always been, I like to talk to people and have friends and things like that. So once I became a stay at home mom, it was a little bit hard on me, plus I was dealing with postpartum, so I didn't really have anybody to talk to besides like our mom. So I'm like, hey, like this is another way to socialize with moms and people that are relatable. So I started making videos, and that is how I got into it. So the Jackson Hive said, if you could be on TV, would you want to be? So I don't know if she's saying, if I could be on TV, who would I want to be? And I would want to be myself. But I would also, um, I think that I love detective shows like SVU and I think I would love to be play like a detective role. Like I want to solve and I spe especially want to solve crimes that are like against children and women and like, you know, protect the city and play that role. I would like absolutely love that. By Tammy M. Tipton and she says, how long did it take you to reach your first thousand first thousand subs and it took me a year crystal barrow said how do you not fight with your hubby and how did you two meet so if there's something that bothers us and we're in the right mind place then we discuss it so we always talk about things um obviously i want to talk about it more than he wants to talk about it but he's kind of accustomed to no we're talking about something that we're having problems with okay so bubblegum 2003 love your channel how do you see your family in five years thank you so much and i see our family in five years um just being more successful um definitely being able to you know provide and do more for our family and kids i always believe that you should be growing in life whether it's mentally or um financially or anything, success, whatever, whatever you want to do, whatever gets you going. So um, YouTube gets me going. <laughs> Definitely something that I would want to keep pursuing and see where it goes in five years. And then as for Shanam, he's a business owner and he is actually um, taking some classes right now in a field so he can own a different kind of business. So we will be a business owner of another business. And then Isaiah will be off to college. That is gonna happen like in four years. I mean, you guys kind of know my goals is just kind of growing my channel, growing as a person, possibly growing my family and stuff like that. So we'll see. <laughs> Aaron Elise Will said, what is your favorite type of video to make? Um, that is interesting. Um, I would say that I really do enjoy making the cleaning videos. Um, not only because I get to keep my house super clean and get things done at the same time as record it for you guys, so I'm kind of doing two tasks at one, but also the editing part. I'm really loving editing the cleaning videos and, you know, trying to play around with the different beats and chops and transitions and the shots. Oh, and the live. Let me tell you guys, for those of you that don't know, I went and did the live the other day on YouTube here. The video I will put down below in the description box. The live video was my favorite. That was my all time favorite. So scratch everything else out. I enjoy creating videos and the shots, but when I was talking to you guys and sitting and chilling, we're kind of, we're back and forth. You guys were commenting like that right there was the best thing I've done on YouTube was do a live chat with all of you guys last Friday. That was amazing. All right, then Casey Chagnon said, Favorite thing about YouTube and least favorite thing about YouTube. So, I had to finish my eye makeup. First favorite thing, obviously, is the comments and the relationships I have with all of you guys. I love all of you guys, and I love YouTube because I can talk to all of you guys across the world and everywhere. What I least, I had to think about what I least hate about it is the dislikes. I've never, not once, not one time, hit a dislike on a video. Honestly, if I wasn't into the video, 
the person or I didn't agree with agree with them like honestly I just click off because I don't care like I like I hit like because I liked your video I hit like because I support your channel I hit like you know because you had great content or you said something amazing whatever but I don't if I don't like something I don't waste my time like I immediately I just get out of there I just get out of the video I guess it's to say like oh I just want to let you know that your video is a piece of crap or that I disagree with what you're saying or something like that but it's just like I don't know that's what I hate I don't like the dislikes <laughs> or sometimes I'll see dislikes on like the most sweetest video ever like a baby blog video like how can you just dislike that like if you don't want to watch a baby or someone talking about their baby or vlogging it, then just click off. Like, why would you hit dislike? And then they feel some kind of way about their video or their baby or their selves. Like, no, just move on. All right, next thing is AZ Cards 13. How do you like living in Arizona? I love it. Besides today, I am now very, very afraid because we saw the scorpion and we don't understand how there's a scorpion upstairs in our house because we get it sprayed every month. We get our house sprayed and our property sprayed every month and yeah so now I'm freaked out but other than that I love Arizona oh. then the next question I have is from my friend Maria I can't say your Instagram name I never can <laughs> a-i-r-a-m 1014 so you asked I know you mentioned you guys have been talking about more babies how many do you and your hubby want to have and what or and would would you want another boy or girl yes we have been talking about having another baby and we're both in kind of baby fever right now, but we are definitely gonna wait until, wait a while, at least until next year. And we definitely want a boy, um, but obviously we can't control that. So we will see. By keeping up with Wani or Wani, how did you start making YouTube mommy friends? And I did join uh, the YouTube mommy meetup group on Facebook is uh, a way that I met a lot of my friends and then just through the comments of our videos when I first started. So those are the two ways that I met my mommy friends. And then Dazzled Christy said, do you plan on expanding your family in the future? Love your channel, by the way. Thank you so much. And I just answered that. So yeah, um, possibly sooner than later. Tiffany from TB Sin, she asked, um, what do you know or she asked, what do you know now that you wish you would have known when you first started YouTube? Love you, girl. So I love you too. And I wish I would have stayed consistent because um, I have been doing this for two years, but I took two, three month breaks. I feel like I would be a little bit further than I am today, but that's okay. I think that everything happens for a reason and that if I needed that break, and I, you know, that was just my experience. So I definitely say if you can stay consistent from day one of starting YouTube, you are gonna do amazing things. And then living even kill. I know you are into fitness. Did you play sports in high school or college? No, I didn't play any sports in high school or college, but I did play sports elementary and middle school. Once I got to high school, I just kind of went, Pfft. it's all about boys and parties and it was not good. So I was hanging out with, you know, everybody going to parties. Sports was not on my mind, but I did play sports. I played volleyball. Um, I played volleyball in middle school, cheerleading, and then elementary I played, uh, and then elementary I played soccer. <laughs> right, next question is from Heart and Home 15 and she asked, being a busy mom, when do you find is the best time to work on your videos? So the best time for me right now is I do my editing at night when both the boys are home and they can hang out with Ava or sometimes Ava and Isaiah will hang out with me in the office, we'll kind of chit chat, I'll do editing. Um, when I film a lot of my videos, like you can see now, I will film with Ava around um, because she can be in them or she'll play. A lot of times um, I might be filming a video when Shanam's home and Isaiah's home and so she might pop in the video here and there but then she'll go back with them and hang out with them. All right, so real quickly before I get into the question, I'm gonna add some eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. It is by Maybelline and it is just like so smooth and goes on really great. So I'm gonna add that. All right, so then the next question is from Cardin1326. She said, can you do another workout video? I actually have a workout video that I will be uploading um, the first week of November. Uh, the Six Silvas ask, uh, does your YouTube ever affect your personal life? Like from all the stress, do you ever miss having the free time with your kids? Um, I feel like it definitely affects my life um, when I let it and I'm not prioritizing properly, which happens often. 
you know, some weeks will be rough weeks and I didn't prioritize my time and plan out my videos and all of that. So that is a reason why I have decided I am going down to two committed videos a week, Mondays and Wednesdays, and then a possible third. Anyway, but um, Sarah Robinson asked, what is your favorite book of the Bible? And I would say the Psalms would be my favorite book. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this pink highlight before I get back into the questions. The next question is by Danny A86, and she said, how do you find motivation to clean when you're not feeling it? And um, I, I enjoy cleaning, honestly. Um, I just enjoy like keeping my house tidy when I can. If I don't feel motivation or I'm tired, uh, then I just don't do it, to be honest. If it's really like that bad where I'm just like, oh, I'm not feeling it right now, then I don't mind letting the house be messy for a day. Like, it's okay. <laughs> Peas and Bubba's mom says, how are you liking AZ? And I answered that before, I am loving it. And then Dragon Lily 14 said, what did you, what do you, what did you used to do before YouTube? Love your videos. I worked in the fitness industry and I was a manager. Life of Danae or Dana, sorry. Uh, you asked, how has the transition to Arizona been on the family? And your family is currently packing to move across the country and we're all a little anxious. Any tips? So um, any tips would make sure that you have your, I don't know if you guys are driving or you're bringing a U-Haul with all of your stuff, but my best advice would just be like beforehand, what we did, what was really nice is like, we made sure we had like the whole moving planned and tripped stops like every place we were gonna stop every city we were gonna the st cities we were gonna actually stay in overnight um, we just really had everything planned out from the hour we were leaving to when we planned to get there um, but our transition has been fine I mean we are missing our family I'm missing my family a lot but honestly Isaiah's transition was amazing he absolutely loves it here he loves the school he has a whole group of friends I, you know me and Shanam we fit right in we feel good I love my local places here I feel like people are nice um, things like that. We are part of a church. We're a part of a, we go to a gym. The transition's been fine besides just missing our family. All right, so real quickly, I'm just gonna use this dark lipstick that you guys see me wear a million times. Right. Lake and Rainy, and she said, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Mine is tied for Hocus Pocus and Halloween Town. Casper is pretty close too. I loved Casper. That was like my favorite movie for so long, and I thought it was so romantic, and her little, crush with the ghost, with Casper, and the dance, and the kids, like, I am a romantic, so I love Casper, and then they had like the Halloween party, it was so fun, so. Brenda Tate, where or how did you come up with your children's name? So, Isaiah's name is from the Bible, and I got it from the Bible. <laughs> Ava's name, um, we just looked up like a list of Persian names, and we wanted to name Ava Persian, or we wanted to name Ava a Persian name because she is half Persian, and I wanted just they have like really pretty different names, and I wanted her to have a different name, and so we went ahead and named her Ava, and then her middle name is Shireen, and her middle name is the um, is Shanam's grandma's name, and Shanam's grandma passed away the same month Ava was born, so. Um, we named her Ava Shireen. And then Sophie Stanhul, I don't know how to say her last name, Sophie, but you're a sweetheart, I always talk to her. And she said, um, I ha she saw the little Eiffel Tower I have, and if we ever have been to Paris. So no, I have never been to Paris, it is somewhere I've always wanted to go since I was a little girl, and I think it's a lot of our dreams to go, <laughs> a lot of people's dreams, but um, I actually have a lot of decorations that I've had for years, like 10 years. Um, that you might see around my house that are like of the Eiffel Tower. All right, so yeah, that is all my questions for you guys. This is a super long video. Um, if you're still interested in this cute little mirror, I'll go ahead and have the information for that company down below. Thank you for sending me this. I am excited to use it, it's so cute. But anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.